particularly heartening for me to see the rise of interest among scientists and particularly astronomers uh, in the UFO problem. So it's often been said that why don't astronomers see UFOs? As a matter of fact, they do. In a very recent report, who um, queried all the members of the American Astronomical Society, found that 53% of those who responded said that, in their opinion, the UFO problem was, was worthy of scientific study. And what is more, 64 of the astronomers who responded Oh, you rolling raptors. Maybe I'm looking a tiny bit too relaxed with one hand in my pocket and the other holding the camera. When you're rollerblading through the city, you should be constantly on your guard, for this is a dangerous place. One of the most obvious dangers are downhill sections, like this steep little street. If you don't know how to slow down, then it's safest to make a detour. Certainly don't keep your hand in your pocket. You might need it to catch yourself when you're falling. The city of Ghent tram rails are notorious adversaries for cyclists and inline skaters alike. Be very careful around them. I know a lot of people who suffered serious injuries after a wheel got stuck. Gravel can also take hold of your wheels and get you tumbling head over heels. If you spot a surface that's not rock hard, slow down and approach it with extreme prejudice. We've already covered going downhill. If you know what you're doing, just enjoy the ride. When a downhill section ends with a set of stairs, you better know how to ride them, don't you? And if you don't know how to tackle a staircase, well, good luck to you! Try to avoid falling into rivers and canals and such. When the water reaches your lungs, your chances of survival are almost non-existent. This combination of cobblestones and tram rails often leads to instances of sudden death. On cobblestones, try to place your weight on your back wheels. That's the safest way to enjoy your surroundings. But most importantly, always look out for walkers who only have eyes for their phones. They will try to take you down and eat your brains.
if you're skating on a surface with an interesting structure, try not to get absorbed. This honeycomb pattern, for example, will get you distracted and distraction kills. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting informed about all the possible ways you can meet your maker. Follow me for more tips and tricks to get yourself killed on inline skates. Nevertheless, do take care and keep rolling. See you next time.